and dy equal to 0, where m and n may be functions of x and y, or some equation of this type are so simple that they can be put in the form of I have a dream, that's all I need I'll make it happen with some work and belief Know what I want, so I'll take What's up guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Mathematic TV So today is another tutorial day So now I'm going to discuss or introduce the differential equations But first, you must have a, enough knowledge in uh, differential calculus and integral calculus because it will uh, be needed in solving a differential equations. So the topic uh, that I'm going to discuss first is a the separation of variables. So consider the equation of the form m dx plus n dy equal to 0 where m and n may be functions of x and y or some equation of this type are so simple that they can be put in the form of ax dx plus by dy equal to zero it means um, the variables can be separated okay let's try some example and uh, solve so for example number one one minus x y prime equal to y squared so this uh, example or problem can be uh, separated so we can rewrite this into 1 minus x dy over dx equal to y squared hence this will become 1 minus x uh, dy equal to y squared dx and um, dividing both sides by or multiplying both sides by a uh, 1 minus x and y squared this will become dy over y squared equal to dx over 1 minus x hence this now can be integrated so we can uh, integrate both sides now so this will become uh, what is the integral of dy over y squared so using a power formula this will become negative 1 over y this will become negative 1 over y then equal to the integral of dx over 1 minus x is ln of um, negative ln of 1 minus x. So this will become a logarithm log or a ln. We can set a u equal to 1 minus x. du is negative dx. Then the integral of du over 1 or the integral of du over u is ln of u but you will become a uh, 1 minus x hence the answer will be a negative ln of 1 minus x so you can check also you can uh, use a u substitution and uh, set for u equal to 1 minus x and this will become negative ln of 1 minus x and don't forget the arbitrary constant so, multiplying both sides by a um, negative, this will become 1 over y equal to ln of 1 minus x, then plus ln c. Or, this will become 1 equal to y ln of c multiply by 1 minus x then then so hence this will be the final answer so this uh, two is uh, also correct but uh, some 
professors uh, much uh, accept the answer in uh, simplified form. Okay, let's proceed to the example number two. For the example number two, sine x times sine y, then dy plus cosine x, cosine y, dx equal to zero. Again, this uh, problem can be separated. So, dividing both sides by um, sine y over, or sine y cos x, this will become sine x over cosine x dx plus cosine y over sine y dy equal to 0 so if we're going if you're going to divide uh, both sides by sine y cosine x this will become sine x cosine x or sine x over cosine x dx plus cosine y over sine y dy equal to 0 now um, this uh, problem is already uh, separated so we can apply the integration or integral now integrating both sides this will become integral of sine x over cosine x dx in short integral of tan x dx plus integral of cosine y over sine y dy or integral of cotangent y dy equals to zero because the integral of sine x over cosine x is equivalent to integral of tan x um, about the integral of cosine y over sine y dy this is equivalent to the integral of cotangent y dy since uh, using the ratio identities sine x over cosine x is equivalent to tangent x but um, you can uh, integrate also in this uh, form by setting um, using a simple substitution so for the left side which is the integral of sine x over cosine x dx I will set u equal to cosine x. So du will become negative sine x dx. So this will become integral of sine x over u since uh, u equal to cosine x. Then multiply by dx, which is um, negative du over sine x. Negative du over sine x. So notice that the sine x will be cancelled. And the negative uh, will be uh, put outside in the integral. Now we're integrating uh, du over u, which is equivalent to um, ln of u. But there's a negative um, outside in the integral therefore this uh, will become negative ln of u but u is equal to cosine x therefore the answer will be negative ln of cosine x then the arbitrary constant so the same in the, the same process in the uh, right side portion of the uh, integral or differential equation Hence, our answer will be um, negative ln cos x plus ln sin y. Yes, ln sin y equal to c. And this will become, or we can simplify this into a negative ln of cosine x plus ln of sine y so we can put uh, ln in the arbitrary constant so this will become ln of c hence this will become can simplify the log um, negative ln cosine x plus uh, ln sine y in the 
left side so this will become ln of sin y over cosine x then equal to ln c and we can simplify this uh, further so hence our final answer will be sine y equal to c cosine x hence this is our final answer so this uh three is also correct but uh as i've said earlier uh much better if uh in simplified form if you can all right that's all for today guys thank you so much for watching and please share your thoughts about it by commenting below and if you learned something today please give this video a thumbs up also if you want to see the other videos link in the description below and please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell stay tuned and see you on my next video thanks and god bless i have a dream that's all i need i'll make it happen with some work and believe know what i want so i'll take it on i've made mistakes but mistakes make you strong